This eight bedroom, four bath mansion was built in 1938 by attorney and diplomat Francis Plimpton. Nicknamed Sweet Hollow, the mansion sat on 27 acres of land. He would pass away in 1982 and his widow owned the property until she passed away in 1995. It was then purchased by dermatologist Michael Gladstein and his family. In 2010, firefighters responding to a fire alarm would discover something inside so shocking it sent a wave of disgust and rage throughout the country. When firefighters arrived at the home, they found 115 dogs, three goats, a cat, and a pony, all of which were sick or malnourished. The home was described as in deplorable condition, with floors soaked in urine so badly they were rotting and caving in. It was actually the ammonia from the urine that set the fire alarms off. The home was condemned, and the owners, Michael and Marilyn Gladstein, were arrested. The pony's hooves were so badly overgrown, it developed a bone deformity and could barely walk. Over 30 dogs were found dead. Many were piled in the kitchen sink and bathtub. Here's like a dollhouse playroom they had. Oh, yeah. That's photogenic. And they had a little upstairs bedroom. Okay, this is the main front lobby area. This was... Living room. Up here in here. Place. Oh yeah, a ton of VHS. Yeah, big baby green. This is another sort of like their lounge type area. Sunroom. You have the kitchen. Yeah. Here's oh where uh <laughs> nobody puts baby in the corner. Address book. Yeah. DVDs. To like arts and crafts. Oh yeah, it's old. Yeah, some portraits. Look at those pins. Copy paper. Yeah. Bunch of books. This is a library. More VHS on it. Dang, they had a lot. All full I Spy. Hey, there's the movies that worked Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lots of those. Yeah, lots of. Here's like a hidden dumb waiter. Like this. Yeah. That thing's hidden behind this door. Somebody found it and cleared it out, but... Oh, yeah. yeah, hidden safe. Yeah, here's just the kids' closet. All sorts of toys. Books for kids. Clues. This is a toy list, but it's kind of cool. Oh, wait. A little book. It's coat. It's a small... Ooh, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, these give us a startle. They're like little bone lights for Halloween. Huge cocaine tanks. Dining room. Yeah, it's definitely in a lot worse shape, but... But. Oh man. Double fire. 
second stairway. Yeah. Sure. Spare bedroom, kids' bedroom, maybe. Laundry room here. Some knickknacks. Clothes. Oh, the Check this out. These are all their photos. Family photos processing. <laughs> oh, yeah, a family trip. Tons. Look at all the feathers. Wow. Oh, you want to watch your step here. I just don't even know what to say. It's just, it's crazy. It's just like frozen, almost, but trashed now, unfortunately. Oh, the roof is caving in up here. That's disgusting. Up into the attic. Wow. More photos. It's a little more aired up here. I'm gonna... I keep seeing stuff for this. This is a court order thing. Court orders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all their junk. The floor, where was that one section? That was over there, was where the bad floor was. Look at this, it was like a chicken coop thing they had up here. Might have been just some storage, but honestly with the story, it very well could have been used. Just full of stuff. Plane of the Apes costume in there. So they definitely liked Halloween because there's a lot of Halloween stuff around. And Christmas. Some fresh pillows. Not so fresh anymore. Some Beatrix Potter books. More like arts and crafts. Junk in here. Little figurines. You can definitely smell just that pea smell still in here. More so up here, like. Lovely. But like even through this mask, it's a gross smell. It just reeks in certain areas. 
and this is the master bedroom here. And boy, does it smell. A private bathroom. Yeah, the closets, shoes. Of course, she had the big closet. Yeah, oh, it's awful in here. Mm -hmm. 